Ram, but one of the issues in this, and I'm sure you face this, is there is still a lack of connectivity. I mean, India is changing. Connectivity will come, and hopefully in the next three or four years, it will be more ubiquitous. Right now, there is a lack of connectivity. Is that one of the reasons why you took the decision to go back, in a sense, from digital to slightly older media? I'm not sure you can call Tata Sky old media, but at least back on the television set, because that's what you did. You took the same product, and you said, I'm going to put it on back on Tata Sky now. So it's an excellent question. You have to evolve, and you have to see what the audience needs. And our vision was simple, that everyone should have an opportunity to learn. No matter where you are, no matter how big you are, how small you are, it should go to the last mile. India is still in its nascency, I would say, in broadband technology. And the cost of content, the cost of, of uh, gigabytes of data is still too high. And that'll change as Wi-Fi becomes public, as you get 4G penetration everywhere. You, we will leapfrog that problem. The other problem we were suffering from was there were no good payment gateways. And that's all changed since demonetization and whatnot. But in the process, what we said is to get to the last mile and to enjoy it as it should be enjoyed, our product, and we had almost 150 hours of content, over 1,800 lessons, needed to be everywhere. And so one of the partnerships we brought in was with DTH. And one of our first partners was Tata Sky. And we took it out to 15 million people. Within three weeks, we had 100,000 paid subscribers. So this provided a, a means of, of uh, monetizing it, but more importantly, provided a low-cost way to take it out. And when you think about it, one dance lesson is 700 rupees. On our platform, for a month of 150 hours, it's 99 rupees. On Tata Sky, it's 59 rupees for a month. And so what we've done is we've really disrupted how you learn. At the same time, we took those same lessons on ground now to 11 schools in India, and we're increasing every single day. And we're taking the same people we trained from the app and from the other environments and giving them jobs. And so this is the ultimate Skill India project where you learn, move, and unite. And at the same time, one other adjunct which we thought was interesting is I put a heart rate band on her. And during her dance exercise lessons, in 15 minutes, she had uh, burned almost 400 calories. Her heart rate was sustained uh, 130 to 150. And it's probably a lot more fun getting Madhuri to teach you to dance, Absolutely. burning calories that way rather than being on Absolutely. a treadmill. And, and that actually became uh, give, our... Give me your cardiological advice now. Is it actually the same? Don't run on a treadmill, learn to dance and... Oh, sit. It's, it's a whole different world. You're using so many muscle groups and, and uh, actually having fun. And the hardest part is to get... That's your professional advice as yeah, a cardiologist. Yeah, absolutely. You're sure. Do something you love. Right? Ditch your statins, ditch the treadmill and start dancing. You know, also treadmill can be so boring. You're just at uh, one point and you're going nowhere. You're trying hard to go somewhere, but you're not. And when you have like someone, you know, teaching you and dancing and, you know, you put your hand here, now you're like there, your mind is also thinking and trying to coordinate everything. That ye hath hai to ye taang hai, to aise hai to wahan pair jayega. And you're thinking of all that and it kind of, the time just goes, you know. It, it's 30 minutes are up and you're like, wow, I had, I sweated out, I didn't realize 30 minutes are gone. And, uh, you know, you have fun at it. All right. I think you've convinced a lot of people in this audience to, to, to certainly, you know, to certainly give, it a, a, give it a shot moving ahead. But you know, I have to ask you this question. The type of dance that people want to learn, now I don't want to in any way badmouth some of the dance trends that you're seeing right now, but you spent years when you were a kid learning Kathak. Yes. And that's difficult and it's complicated. If you see some of the dance steps in Hindi movies right now, um, it sometimes seems you just have to wear fairly few clothes and, you know, wriggle a little bit and that's, that's dance. And that's difficult too because you have to look good also while doing that. Um, well, I, I wouldn't say that, I wouldn't criticize what's going on, but if I want people to get reintroduced to something that I have learned, something that my experience has been, you know, I'm sharing that experience with them through Dance with Madhuri because we have the best of choreographers. Uh, we take up the Bollywood dances because Bollywood is famous and you cannot run away from the fact that people love Bollywood and that's why I am who I am. Uh, that's why people love my songs, they love my dances. But I feel if they want to learn that, nazakat kya hai? You know, 
what it is. We, have, we are not only teaching Bollywood dancing, we have all types of dancing. Whether it is Indian classical, there's Bharat Natyam, there's Kathak, Maharaji has taught Kathak, the best dance guru you can ever dream of or learn from. So those nazaka, those adai, everything is there. No, so that's exactly the point I'm trying to ask, that in the present, in 2017, is anybody interested in nazakat or adai, or even grace for that matter? Because sometimes what you see has got none of those. There's no nazakat, there's no adai, and there's certainly very little grace. I'm not saying everywhere, I don't want to make generalizations, but there are some people, and, and I'm sure you must be seeing it when you're seeing movies right now, you're saying, the people are you could do what you're doing, but do it with a bit more grace. No, people are craving for that. I mean, why do you think the songs that we have, like my song, say, for example, uh, from the 90s, Choli Ke Piche Kya, any of the songs that you pick up, why are they still popular? Why are people still watching it? Why do people still love me? You know, it's, it's a dying. They like it. They want to see it. They want to see more of it. But to, and that's why, you know, songs like Kahe Cher Cher Moe or Mohe Rang Do Lal, you know, people just love to watch those songs. I, I think the one thing, you bring up a very good point, that Bollywood by and large, is the most popular form in India. But the thing is, the audience for the classical dance forms is there. And the problem is, how do you make that sustainable? How do you get people to get interested if they've never ever seen it? And particularly in some places, you don't have access to this sort of stuff. So when we have 35 different dance styles, ranging from classical Indian to jazz to contemporary, and the other interesting part, which you'll find interesting, talk about Made in India, 50% of our audience is actually overseas. And not just Desi audiences, but they're learning and they're uploading thousands of videos. And so what we're learning is we're sparking a revolution and bringing together a community platform. And that's what we wanted to do, that how do you translate passion in film, in music, in acting, in, in so dance? Me, you, you must be having user statistics. What are the young most interested in learning? Are they interested in learning some of the more the better forms of dancing, or are they all saying, well, show me a little bit of hip-hop and jump up and down and... So, so it's very interesting. Um, we have deep metrics um, on various different platforms, and so we know every user's journey, and we help them along. We have users from 5 to 80, but our predominant pool is from 18 to 44, and 70% of them are women. Now, the interesting part is fitness was, by and large, something people do every day, and they use it for that. But when you look at it, there is a subsection of people learning Kathak and Bharatanatyam who are very dedicated to what they do and stick with the program. By comparison, for the Shadis, they come and they'll learn Bollywood with all of their friends for 30 days, and then once the Sangeet is over, they will then come sporadically. But is it a minority of people who are wanting to do the more traditional dance? Uh, I, I mean, it's hard to know because our numbers are only about 3 million and we had 31 and a half million video views. But I would say it depends on where we're catching from. So to answer your question, I would say the majority are definitely Bollywood. And that's worldwide. But at the same time, there's a significant minority who are learning real stuff and never had access to that before. Okay, before I allow this subject to go, so how often is it that you will see dances or songs being done on the screen right now when you watch movies and you say, I could do that, but with a bit more grace. Do I have to answer this question? Yes. <laughs> I think Karan uh, did ask you that question. But first of all, let me tell you that, uh, you know, some of the steps the girls are doing now are, um, there's so much acrobatics and they're doing so many things which maybe it's impossible for me to do, like I couldn't be able to like jump like that or take a cartwheel or something. But sometimes I do wish that the camera would stay a little bit and just show a little bit of expressions, what the girl is feeling, and not just with the body, but also with the face. Yeah, and, and, and item numbers and also. It's not that you haven't done naughty songs, no, with, with naughty lyrics, but you did them in a slightly different way to some of the items. Yes, because I had a lovely guru, uh, Saroji, who was choreographing for me for those songs. And uh, like I said, there's a lot I've learned from her, and it's something that I want to share with my you know, fans or my followers or people who like to see me dance or who want to dance like me. So when it comes to learning things and learning things digitally and online, and I think, Ram, to take your point forward, this is going to be one of the, perhaps the biggest trend that we're going to see digitally. Learning, education, people trying to get information out of digital means is perhaps going to be one of the big you know, trends of our time. Um, where else can you push it? Uh, before I come to him on that, could you learn acting through an app? 
Yeah, why not? Yes. There are courses of acting, uh, though I have never studied acting before I started working. But there are courses, there are institutes out there which teach you dancing. There's the Pune Institute. Um, and uh, yes, it is possible because it is basically expressions and it is, um, you know, what you feel and you can talk to people and, uh, you know, teach. It's easy to teach, in fact, acting uh, than dancing because dancing is a lot of movements and so people have to follow that. Uh, but with acting, I think it's going to be a little easier to so, teach. So I think you've kind of taken our business plan and roadmap <laughs> out of place because music and acting are actually our next two coming. What we built was an IP structure, and you can populate it with anything. And the idea was it's always three things. It's, it's brand, content, and construct. The brand should be a domain authority in that area. The content should be world-class, filmed on the sets of any studio in the world. And the construct should be able to deliver it. I mean, this was one of our principal issues that with her popularity, our servers on Amazon were crashing. And we had to redesign them so they could handle a million users a second. And so, you know, we had to do a lot of stuff, but now we're in a position to do that. The second thing is, in India, method acting and really focused study was not even there until recently. And so I think there's an opportunity there to take it forward.